So my project was uh, predicting wins from effective field goal percentage in college basketball. Um, oh, okay. So for my roadmap, so the first thing I did was uh, for my data processing, I cleaned the data set from Kaggle to my preferred X and Y values. So there were originally around 10 different variables um, and I decided to go with effective field goal percentage and then I normalized the model. Um, and then for my actual model, I decided to use linear regression because there was a baseline model that I decided to um, compare it to. And then, so once I ran the model uh, and evaluated it, I had an 82% accurate, accuracy on my model, which was, it says higher, but that's, that was actually slightly lower than what I expected. Um, and then uh, I tested my model, or I compared it to the baseline model, and it was about 13% worse. So that model had a 95% accuracy. Um, so for my visualization, um, this is what, um, so this was my uh, plot with the uh, uh, prediction. Um, and then I used effective field goal percentage as my X variable, as it was the most relevant out of all the given options. And then um, wins were my Y variable, since that is the ultimate goal of the teams. And then I ran the model. Um, so for my model construct, um, so my, uh, my intercept ended up being negative 46.9, and then my slope ended up being uh, one as far as uh, the, uh, when, I, when I put the, or in the model through the code. Um, so my model is on the left, and then on the right is the baseline that was given in the, um, on the it was one of the examples on the Kaggle data set. So it was slightly more accurate than mine. Um, and since we both are in linear regression models, I was kind of curious as to why this was. Um, so for my conclusions, uh, my model had an 82% accuracy, which uh, I was hoping to have slightly better, but overall, like I'm not upset with it, um, even though it was 13% lower than the uh, baseline example model I was comparing to. And basically from this whole project, since I was ended up doing it, deciding to do it by myself, I kind of learned like, like I started off a little more ambitious um, and ended up having to kind of cut short on certain parts of the project just because I learned like how much work goes into making even the simplest models just because uh, I ended up doing it by myself. So yeah, that was it.